Hey guys, welcome to Smack Talks predictions video for No Mercy. Um, we did actually do a recording with me and Jay doing our predictions. This was a couple about a week ago. Unfortunately, matches have been added to it. The sound quality was awful because we were in a train station recording it. And so I've decided to do a quick predictions video with what our predictions were and I might also post up the original predictions video so if you're going to listen to it with headphones on we do apologise because the sound quality is atrocious and we did film it literally after a, a night of drinking so but let's get on with our predictions video so first things first we did not know who the opening card would be for the kickoff show so I'm just going to give my predictions on this. This does not count to our prediction score, which we will probably post on Twitter at, so after after No Mercy tonight. But um, so this one doesn't count for any points. But I'm going to go for Elias. Elias versus Polo. It's got to be Elias. Um, he's got the most momentum out of the two. He's more interested. And the crowd seem to enjoy him singing and abusing and saying how crap the towns are. Which, you know, is a good heel tactic and it works and people enjoy it. So, um, Elias is going to go for that one. So, this is the... Then we're going to go straight into our two main events because we're not going to do this in any order. So the main event, um, the main event we're hoping is the Universal title. It is Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman. I went for Brock Lesnar, Jay went for Brock Lesnar, um, nothing much said, we reckon he's going to hold it for <laughs> till Wrestlemania and Roman Reigns is going to win it, but yeah, that's our prediction for that one, hopefully it's going to be a big match, it's going to have that big match feel with it now, it absolutely, the promo work, the things these two have done in the ring prior to this pay per view has made it quite exciting for us fans. And let's be honest, two big guys beating the crap out of each other, who isn't going to enjoy that? I definitely am. Um, and let's be honest, let's let's hope we see Braun Strowman get suplexed again and get back up and just beat down. Um, next up we have our second main event of the night is John Cena versus Roman Reigns. Jay has gone for Roman and I have gone for the man himself, John Cena. Yes, this is the way. It's going to be divided. Uh, Jay, uh, in his t basic knowledge <laughs> for this match win, it's, it's Roman Reigns. Vince McMahon loves him. And I went, it's John Cena. It's a big match for you. It's John Cena. Uh, then we have the tag team match with uh, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins taking on Char uh, she Sheamus and Cesaro. Um, I went for Ambrose and Rollins because I still feel this momentum of the old Shield reunion is still building and I think it's a good way to continue their momentum is keep the belts on them. Uh, they haven't put a step wrong, the fans are still loving them um, and I think right now they're in the best position they possibly have been in a long time. Uh, Jay went with the bar because he absolutely loves the heel tactics which Sheamus and Cesaro have been working with. In, in their matches, uh, he does enjoy all the promo work, and yeah, I can't blame him. Both both teams are the best tag. Some are, yeah, they are the best two tag teams right now in Raw, and that's taking nothing away from the Hardys because they are really good and the Good Brothers as well. They're really good and the Revival. Pretty much, Raw has a really good tag team division. Just very shallow when it gets to the top. It's all we feel like two teams. It never feels like anyone could win that tag team division. It just feels like that. Uh, then we have the match which I keep forgetting about, so I had to put a massive note on this. Uh, Bray Wyatt taking on Finn Balor. We both went with Balor. We're sticking with the Balor club. Um, mainly because Finn Balor, he needs a bit more momentum. Bray Wyatt can take losses. We've seen this. It has started building up a lot better now. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit more into this rivalry. Um, but let's be honest, hopefully once this, this match is done, this is it. We don't need another f two months of Bray Wyatt versus Finn Balor. 
but we've seen it enough. I think now, if Finn wins, not using the demon, Finn, we'd be fine. We'll be fine. And we can move on to Finn, hopefully, going on and taking on for a title. Then, talking about titles, we have Neville versus Enzo. Uh, I went with I went for Neville because obviously Neville's the best thing on 205 Live, best heel, best champion. He's the best champion on Raw half the time. He's so entertaining. He's so much fun to watch. And let's be honest, Enzo's still getting punished. Jay went went with Enzo Amore. That's only because he loves his personality. Um, he loves the whole larger than life kind of characters and Enzo is very much a larger than life character for this division. Um, Enzo, I reckon Enzo will cheat to win but that's not going to be much of a surprise. Uh, if he does, if, if Enzo win, cheats to win it wouldn't be as much of a surprise. Never re rarely, he does do some heelish tactics but he's very rarely does anything to, you know, to cheat to win kind of situations. Um, and who knows? I look forward to seeing this one. It's it's built up quite well, especially the uh, stuff which was done on two or five. I've watched those on YouTube because they were really good. Um, but yeah, we we'll look forward to that one. Next we have Alexa Bliss take on Sasha Banks, take on Nia Jax, take on Emma, take on Bailey. Bloody hell, that's gonna be a, a long match or very short. Who knows? Um, I'm. I went for Nia Jax, I know a long shot one, and Jay went for Sasha Banks. This is we did this prediction before Bailey was introduced into it. So I'm keeping with our original predictions. Yes, Bailey's been added to it, but I still don't think she's ready to reclaim the belt yet. I think Nia Jax has been pushed the best so far on the Royal Women's Division right now. I think Sasha is in that kind of she's lost the belt recently. Alexa's held, you know, just reclaimed it, but I just feel like some fresh blood in the women's division would be brilliant, and she is very much the strongest woman in that division, and it would be interesting to see how someone like Bailey or Sasha would overcome her and win the title when she gets it, because let's be honest, once you get a championship belt, you seem like there's different ways of holding on to that belt and it would be great to see how Nia just becomes like a much more stronger, much scarier kind of champion. I think she could she could lift it, that heel kind of I'm I'm I don't use I'm not I don't run away, I just literally destroy you. And I think that would be great to watch. Especially when Oscar turns up and Oscar could be like the pump you know, pumped up, I'm gonna win this championship. Because I think that would possibly be exciting to see oh the, the undefeated NXT champion take on this monstrous Nia Jax. I would love to see that. And then the match, which no, this is not going to have any points on because we didn't know about it when we recorded our original prediction video, is the Miz take on Jason Jordan. I'm going for the Miz. I'm pretty sure Jay would have gone for the Miz as well. Um, mainly because the Miz is the best thing on Raw. And he's just so entertaining when he does hold the belt. So yeah, there you go guys. That's our predictions for No Mercy. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it as much as we're going to enjoy it. Um, I will be staying up late, probably doing some live tweets during the show. Um, if not, I'll probably fall asleep. I have done that before during a pay-per-view. Because it's ridiculously late at night for us over here. So I'll probably have to get enough energy drinks to keep me going. But yeah. There you go, guys. Uh, um, I can't, if you guys have got your own predictions, please post them underneath on our video. If you like our videos, please like, subscribe, and follow us. I'm at Boise88, and we will be posting a reactions video tomorrow and claiming who is the who is the predictions champion. I'll see you guys next time on Smack Talk Wrestling.